A few years after the Soviet Union dissolved, I took my family to Moscow as volunteers in an orphanage and to distribute Bibles. This was a sabbatical year from teaching and also from geology. But a friend asked me to preach one Sunday at a small Russian Baptist church. This church was from the underground church of the Soviet era. What could I say? What would you tell men and women who had suffered greatly for their faith? Some in the congregation had been in prison because of their testimony for Christ. Others had husbands or relatives who had suffered some unto death under the religious persecution, and yet their faith remained strong. I felt just as inadequate then as I do now before you. I was just a wimpy American Christian. What would you tell them? Finally, I decided the topic of my message would be metamorphic rocks. Clay is actually composed of many microscopic clay mineral crystals, which not even a light microscope can see. But under pressure, the clay minerals are not crushed or made smaller, rather they grow larger. The minerals change into new larger biotite grains forming slate found on the roofs of most of our Wheaton buildings. With even more pressure, the minerals become even larger, and some are transformed into garnets semi-precious gems. I explained to the congregation that this geological process illustrates how pressure and suffering can be used to refine, purify, and mold a person into a more beautiful soul. I will never forget what I saw when I looked at the congregation. It seemed like the whole congregation was sparkling. The babushka's eyes were gleaming bright with tears recalling past suffering. What makes a gem so attractive? It's the reflection. And these dear women and men were reflecting God's glory through the suffering they had endured. The metamorphic rock story does not end there, however. With even more pressure applied, a new mineral forms called starlight. The name is from two Greek words meaning stone cross. The twinned variety forms deep under high mountains in the shape of a cross, a reminder of Christ's ultimate suffering for us all.